Okay, guys, here I sit. Can't start the vehicle. Lots of power. No gas. I'm going to try a few other things yet, but let me take you to where this all started. I'll show you the routine I had to go through here, guys. Just go for a walk. It is now a Monday, and this happened to me on a Saturday, Saturday morning. Oh, look at the beautiful sun. Guys, let me just explain to you this, how this works here. On Saturday morning, I went through the drive through here, right through here. Somebody over there ordering. Okay, I came through the drive through here, sat here, ordered a uh, farmer's sausage wrap. Well, they didn't have any sausage and they didn't have any uh, hash browns. So I said, forget it, I don't want any. I pulled away up to here. And right about here is where the van died. This is where I died, right here. So that's the sequence of events so far. Now it's gonna cost me $160 for a towing just to get my vehicle 15 kilometers down the road. And then if it is actually the fuel pump, uh, that's another over $200 and then labor. So this is an expensive job here, guys. Yeah, we're going to be put up on Willie's towing truck here, taken in, and then we'll get it to see what can happen with the, uh, why it won't start. Having problems here with that anyway, so. Anyways, guys, let's let him get it up on the back of the van, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, guys. Taking it out to Napa Auto Parts. And we'll see if we can't get this thing fixed. I hope it doesn't cost too much money. Fuel pump would be the worst case scenario, but we'll see. Well, guys, I had to leave my van in overnight. Nowhere to stay. So a friend of mine let me stay in his unit here. This is what I stayed in last night. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you, Arlen, for letting me stay in your unit there overnight. That was great. When you live in your unit and they say it's going to have to stay overnight, well, now the now it's going to start costing you. So anyway, the rest of the story is that they phoned me the next morning. Uh, they said, your unit's done. Come and pick it up. So listen to this, guys. I went to pick it up, and right away he says... Well, when we took the gas tank down to put the new fuel pump in, uh, the spout to fill needed to be re replaced, so that's extra parts. But they said they weren't going to charge me for that. Then he said, also, we're going to take off half an hour worth of labor because uh, it turned out a lot better than they thought. And they had found a cheaper um, fuel pump. So he said, well, it's going to cost you 600 bucks. And I said, what? 600 bucks? You told me 800. I said, this is like winning a lottery. Like, does that ever feel good? So three times in a row, three times that I've been to Napa, every single time that they quoted me something and I went to pay on the final day, it was less than what I was quoted. So, man, it was... Thumbs up to uh, Napa Auto uh, Auto Service. Um, I'll recommend these uh, this uh, Napa anytime. They were just fantastic to me. And not only that, guys. When I when I finally went and paid, the guy says um, the owner. He says, "Well, Napa has a roadside service. Also, it's not as good as uh, other ones. You only get like 40 kilometers uh, distance, but it'll take you to any Napa, which is nationwide." or anywhere you want to go within 40 kilometers. 
so that well i don't know I, i'll i'll wait and, and get the canadian tire one so he said but it's only like uh 20 for every for six months he says i'll tell you what i'll buy you a a, a six month uh I'll buy you buy it for you for six months so they not only went down to six hundred dollars gave me a part for free took off a half an hour's worth of labor and then paid for my Napa roadside assistance <laughs> so I highly recommend these guys thank you to Jeremy at uh, Medicine Hat Napa 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 Medicine Hat Napa all right, guys, because I feel like I won the lottery with my van, saving 200 bucks, feels like I won the lottery. Fantastic. So I think I'll treat myself to a supper tonight, a good one. So I'm here at a smorgasbord place. So let's go in and have a look and see what they got. My second plate, guys. First one was all spaghetti. Gotta go for mashed potatoes, gravy, at meat. <laughs> 